guys, back again. Welcome back to my messy setup. You know what? I was going to clean it all up and I thought, oh, you know what? I'm not going to. This is what my workstation looks like most of the time. And this is what it looks like tonight. So here we go. I'm on a black kit, guys. I'm on a black base. I've done a couple pieces in black lately. I really, really like them. It's super hard to photograph because especially the interference colors just come out looking like these strange ghost colors. Um, they're actually not, but that is definitely what they look like. We got a goopy bit here. So let's try this. I have all the colors in my toy box, all out. So because we're gonna go black, we really need to put a solid opaque color down because the metallic colors are just gonna disappear. So that is Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray on top of black doesn't look like much, but you know what? When we dump the other colors on, it will. You'll see it. This is, I think it's a Pabio. They call it red blue. Um, why I don't know it's clearly pink. All right, FX. Color shift, paint in purple. More color shift. This is FX bronze. FX blue. I like I love these color shift paints. These are these do the coolest things. This is Interference by Jacquard. This is a violet. And it's going to have a strand of gold because I just upset the gold in it. Interference, violet. So let's do, let's do a little bit more gold because I'm going to use a little bit of decor white and I don't want white on top of white for, it's not going to look very interesting. So there we go, decor art. White satin enamel mixed with a little bit of Amsterdam white, smack in the middle, and black cell mix, my friends. Notice the skill I'm taking. I'm just plopping it all on. All right, let's tip it back to the middle here. And I'm gonna put a little bit more bright pink in here too, cause that's gonna set it apart. You're gonna see that. Okay, here we go. Big breath, powerhouse, blow out, and let's do this. Okay, we're gonna give this a second, guys. So my block for this piece is just Amsterdam. Um, flow paint just fluid acrylic mixed with some flow troll and just a scoop full of pouring medium just to give it a bit of body not my best blowout in here that's going to take a bit of work we're going to give it a quick torch give the white satin enamel chance to do its thing and i'm going to try to blow this out a bit better you guys That's looking a little better. Maybe a little bit of help in this corner here. You ever notice that you can always blow better in one direction than the other? Oh, look at those colors. These colors are super pretty, but sometimes when you start bending them and, and stretching them out, they become almost, they almost disappear. So you kind of have to, to only maybe not stretch as much as you want or, I know my last piece I did was really pretty, but when I tried to photograph it, it's it almost disappears. It's these funny ghosty type things. 
I see a big glob that has to be gone. The paint is bending around it, and that is not a good sign. Hmm. Can't find it now. It's right there. We just have to stretch this out and find it as we go, you guys, because I don't want to mess things up too much in there. Yeah, I can still see it. All right, here we go. This is like a like a surgeon. Aha, got it. I got it. All right, I'm going to use my kebab stick tonight. I don't want to make a whole lot of adjustments to this because like I said, I know what happens. Sometimes this, this iridescent paint just kind of disappears. So let's just do this, guys. Let's keep it simple. Keep it simple, she says. All right, let's do this. Let's stretch this out. Side to side, back and forth. We don't necessarily have to take our color off the corners, just as long as we have enough paint off the canvas that it doesn't crack. And coverage all the way around. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm gonna go. I have a bit of a bend there and I'm not sure why. Another lumpy bump right here. All right, let's do this. Let's get down there and let's get this off at least one corner. And back. You can already see where it's getting harder and harder to see those metallics or those interference colors. And you really only can see them in one direction until you get into a different light and then you see it again. They're, they're quite cool. I like them a lot. My ghost pores. I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit so that the majority of the color is at least back in the center. And then if we have these ghosted petals, it's okay. Okay, guys, I'm okay with this. We'll see how it dries, but right now it's definitely super pretty. bit more stretching here and there. Hmm. Don't know if I should add more or not. I don't know. Let's turn off the overhead light. Let's try to bring you down. I don't know. It's very hard to see. It's uh, It loses so much in the translation of video, but it's, it's really quite pretty. 
can't you can't see these cool cells because they just kind of don't they don't video well all right guys i'm just going to leave it like that you're just going to have to trust me that it's quite pretty all right folks thanks for playing thanks for pouring with me tonight you guys are awesome we'll talk really really soon bye for now